Hi everyone, it's Greg from the Plastic Crap Bog, and today I am joined by Joe, who is here to talk with me around uh, the new Gen Con releases, as we've had some really, really nice stuff uh, come out, and we thought we would go through it with you all. Um, so, um, Joe, you normally play Hackers Lambs, your main thing, isn't it? I do, Vanilla Hack. It's the, it's the best army in the game. It's dear to my heart. I... Uh... I won't have to hear a bad word spoken about them. And I'm right in thinking you've had a pretty successful weekend. I did. I had a beautifully successful weekend with some interesting lists, should we say. Yeah. Interesting lists, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For people that don't know, uh, Joe had a first place win at uh, the Northern Open this weekend. Uh, I think you finally managed to, to clinch it, and it has did. been a long time coming. I did. I've been on what is fundamentally the top table a few times now for the third round and generally uh, had a momentary panic and tilted myself, usually quite badly. I mean, you don't pick second in supplies, Joe. Why would you do that? No. Why, why would you do that? Just go first, take the boxes, run away. You, you win the game that way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. It was a good weekend. Good, Very good, good. I'm glad to hear it, and I'm sorry I had to miss it, unfortunately. But okay. we are here to talk about Gen Con. Um, so Gen Con had some really nice stuff, and I think uh, we're going to go through some of the slide shows um, of the image dumps that have been done. And the first one that actually comes up is uh, the biggest announcement, I think, is is the Varuna. Varuna has finally dropped, and we've been expecting for a while to, to have another sectorial. Um, and that's yeah, the majority. Yeah, no, most definitely. We like, uh, as a hack player, I'm like, where is Rama? Like, where is Rama? Like, I did, but it's fine. I'll get over it. Um, and I think that Varuna is going to be really exciting to see on the table as a sectoral. Um, I like, I like, I like, uh, I like the symbol that comes up. Yeah, and there's some certainly interesting stuff as as we go through. So if we move on to the the first image then. So the first thing that they have redone is the Paradiso Crocmen. And mm -mm. I wasn't for one expecting them to redo Crocmen at all, if I'm honest. I that's kind of come out a bit out of the blue. But also the fact that they've started to do Paradiso stuff. Um I, I can kind of understand where they're coming from. Obviously like the Paradiso stuff is last edition kind of rule set and I can kind of understand why they may be tweaking and fixing stuff that's referenced there. Okay. So they don't necessarily have to reference the old campaign book. It also gives me hope there's a new campaign book coming, right? Well, I was um, quite literally going to say, I think that has started the rumor mill for, you know, are we going to get another Paradiso campaign book? Um, exactly. Which which would be very, very nice. I know people like on Mayakas have been doing their own rule set to make it um, more up to date and work with um, HSN3. But to have it itself would be nice because that was kind of before I got back into Infinity. So I would like to do Paradiso one day. It's, it's I mean, the, rule, the, the missions in those books, in that book is that they're all really interesting um but when you try and actually play them i don't i didn't play back in n2 so i can't really speak for it but trying to play them in n3 they are impossible i don't i don't understand like some of them are really easy and it's just like get a guy across the table and you're just like oh i i can, I can do that that's that's easy and then some of them are like go here and do this and then go here and do this and then go here and do this and and then still like still also win the fight and he's just like i how what who okay i guess i'll try they are really fun though because they have this like this less competitive -y kind of feel but yeah it's, i want them to do another campaign and i want them to put out more really quirky narrative -y style missions that would be great yeah, I don't. Th I certainly don't think you'd be alone in that at all. No. Um, what I found interesting about this concept art is, and I definitely know for myself, I'm gonna. If I were to do something like this, I could never do the tattoos that this guy has got. Um, but he looks. He looks pretty cool. Pretty bog standard in his his pano armor. I don't think there's nothing too special to write home about. But then, as per usual, just having new sculpts that fit together nicer is going to be. A win-win for those pano players to be honest oh good yeah anything without like 
like uh, pin size wrist joints is is a win. Yeah. And I mean, I really like the design of this crock man. Like, um, they they look pano future even like, and pano looks futuristic anyway. Mm. Like this guy looks like he's 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 out there on the forefront being a future soldier and i think it looks really cool but you're right i'm never gonna manage those tattoos no. <laughs> uh, that said like i'm also i think i was one of two people from the entire tournament at the weekend who didn't have a fully painted army which is a bit embarrassing at the end but you know so i'm not really the person to talk to about painting tattoos on arms no not really joe <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we moved on to the next guy. Yeah. So, um, again, a, another kind of re-sculpt, as it were, is kind of doing orc troops again, um, but specifically of the Varuna, Varuna uh, section. Um, I don't know. I don't know really what to make of it. It looks pretty bog standard to me. Classic pano. Hopefully they've maybe found a better way to put on the bunny ears than they previously have. Yeah, um, yeah totally. Um those bunny ears in that orc troop that you got in um ice storm was it mm. those I, I lost those within minutes days day like literally days they were like oh i glue these on put them in a box bring it back out oh they're, they're gone well never mind i i think it looks cool i i think the bulk of the dude looks pretty cool like as a as a star and i mean that's a tasty range of weapons he has there. Yeah, I was going to say, um, we'll probably get onto it a little bit later, but the, the actual range of weapons that mm. Faruna have got access to, because it's certainly more than Pano themselves. Um, yeah. But the majority of, of the differences at a glance, and I realise this is just concept art at the moment, seems to be how they're painted. Um, yeah. They've got extra sort of tattoos. They're a bit more gritty. Um, there's something about them more jungle fightery sort of catch a catch a chance or so yeah if that if that makes any sense yeah no it does it does it totally does it like um it it's yeah almost more kind of tribal you're right it's out there it, mm. it, i like them i like the stuff i like the uh, okay who doesn't let's be honest like the uh paint schemes that they usually put out or the design schemes they usually put out but i like these more than some of the ones they put out recently yeah yeah Okay, so on to the Kamals. Again, Kamals are pretty staple in Prano, um, if, I, if I'm right in thinking that. But I was under the impression they were predominantly snipers. Yeah, it's not a profile that I come up against massively often, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that's just my meta up here that I play against, but I have... If I've ever seen them on the table, I've only seen the snipers. Yeah. Interestingly, on, on his arms, if you look at it, um, it says scuba technics on Is his it? arm and his leg. Yeah. Ooh. So, um, and it looks like he's in sort of like a wetsuit. So I don't know whether, they, again, this is more just a different kind of costume for them. Um, or if that has any variance on perhaps some of the rules, they might have multi-terrain or maybe something With like the aquatic that. terrain. Pay yeah. for that aquatic terrain, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very useful. Mm -hmm. um, no, totally. Yeah, but I, I, we'll get onto it a little bit later when they show the starter box. But um, this seems like it says uh, Kamal Varuna regular or regular in the symbol. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether yes. these are going to make up more of the line troops that you would have yeah. than anything else. Yeah. So um, your like your actual profile for them on um army is that they are line troops okay um and they do indeed have aquatic terrain ah, yeah. sneaky boys in wetsuits <laughs> but but i suppose that i guess that's what kind of makes me think a bit um i know you can have snipers on line troops um that's not an uncommon thing but i always thought these were slightly more expensive so did i so did i, I always thought they were that like um slightly uh, more elite yeah, the slightly more elite kind of line troops. Circa stuff like uh, Securitate used mm. to be and now still are, but are somehow way, way, way cheaper. Okay. Not complaining. Securitate are brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Right. 
so what have we got next this is interesting this i really want to spend some time on um because where the shape of water came from i have no idea and it's something i certainly wasn't expecting because i don't know just to have uh some kind of almost mercenary but an alien involved i, I don't know what are your thoughts on this i thought this, so, this blew my okay. mind Okay, so I'm like all in on this. Okay, like all in. I love this. I love this idea of um, of of humanity actually not just being massively antagonistic towards all aliens, because okay. it's fantastic. And the fact that um, they, uh, I'm not huge on my pano fluff. Excuse me, uh, but um, these guys are mentioned as a race, I believe, that live on Varuna. Um, okay. And have been interacted with before. I never expected to see them on the table. No, I I found this really odd because I was kind of when it initially popped up, I was like, oh, there's this some sort of nomad thing because mm -hmm. you have kind of the gene splicing, you have kind of um, messing around, um, and you, like you say, you haven't seen anything other than humanness. And I don't know because you kind of have the sort of the the Templar knights that almost makes me think of righteousness and not sort of mixing or interbreeding, but. Yeah. Um, it's just badass. It is badass. It's going to be Aren't such they? an amazing model. Aren't they? They're like, I, I, I want to see these on the table. I want to see somebody like throw a load of these at the table. See now, where do you think the, like, how do you think these are going to be? Or do you want to come back and discuss that later? It's up to you. I don't know. If, if we go on to the next picture, I'm quite sure it shows it with its, um, it's gear Lens. on so yeah, they've just totally. they've literally just stuck some pano gear onto him and, and yeah i like it he looks cool but i also kind of miss seeing his face his face was very cool i miss kind yeah. of him his nakedness but if you look at his weapons they're all kind of long ranged mm -hmm. um fair bit of swc so i'm thinking he might come as a duo personally okay okay um interesting thoughts interesting thoughts I, I see. I see them as like a much more mid-rangey kind of fighter with the red fury, the light rocket launcher on its kind of mid-ranginess, the shock marksman rifle on its mid to long ranginess, hmm. and then they have the sniper. But to me, with that gear, I know they're an aquatic race, so maybe they need an aquatic kind of like canister to be able to breathe or something. True, but. Does that not look like the Hakim's uh, style AD kind of thing? Where uh, so like AD level two parachutist or the one that allows you to pick during the game? Okay, okay. And like so maybe like um skirmishy kind of a skirmisher kind of maybe AD kind of like weapons experty kind of dudes. I like I I that's what I would love to see them be like some kind of like heavy hitting almost um almost expendable in a manner to pano like I still don't think that like human edge of like pano is gone in the same way that you see maybe you you had the notion of like knights being knights mm -hmm. and going on the crusades as it were like I still don't see that going anywhere they're still like militia so like throw them in give them a good weapon maybe get them in that front line and be like well we won it's all good yeah like, true i would be i would be very very surprised if this miniature doesn't have super jump okay okay um i think you see it on a lot of models that aren't human i know yeah. there is kind of um uh you do have a couple but just just in terms of its legs just in terms of the way it's built I'd be quite surprised if it didn't have super jump. That's how I see it. I see it as kind of a, um, or maybe even an infiltrator. Yeah. Something yeah. that would swim up. I, I still don't think it's going to be an AD personally, but I can okay. understand your point. Yeah. Um, I, with the prevalence of super jump on a, on the few things that have got it recently, I, I don't disagree. I could definitely see this being super, uh, super jumping. Mm. And the idea of a super jumping light rocket launcher just makes these guys even more like desirable to me definitely I, i'm all in like all in this is where all of my 
this is where all of my dice are going for uh, Verena right now. Now, if I'm not wrong, I think when I was watching the video of Carlos earlier when he announced it, I'm quite sure he said that this is... Uh, so the whole point of Verena is to um, include things that Pano never had access to. And one of them is being camo. And I'm quite sure he said that this has camo. Um, okay. There was another miniature later with a poncho. Ponchos everywhere. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so that's that's another thing that makes me think he's going to be um, sort of just running up the table. Perhaps is is that camo, that infiltratorness. Okay. Uh, if you look at his skin, maybe. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Like if he if he's camo, um, I can understand that, and he, I can totally get behind the infiltrating camo there, or maybe like forward deployment level two camo. Mm. Something, something, something in the midfield, definitely. And if they give it super jump, it's going to be brilliant. It is yeah. going to be brilliant. Be nice, be nice. Get up to those nice spots to either get an objective or, or uh, blow some stuff up. Oh, do you think they will give them a specialist profile? With the see, the weapons speak to me of like the weapon selection speaks to me as a thing that is just not going to have a, pro, a specialist profile. And the yeah. fact they're militia as well makes me just feel like they are attack pieces yeah we'll I, see. Think, I think you're not going to get anything um you're not going to get a chain of command on something like that you might get if you're not going to with that weapon loadout you're not going to get any hackers potentially forward observer might be the only thing but i think like you say it's going to be very very unlikely getting anything like that to be honest yeah you um, might you might get a specialist operative just okay. so i can press buttons dude yeah That'd be that, that. That's that's where I would be leaning with these guys. Yeah, I think you're more likely going to be getting your specialists within the um, commands, perhaps if they're going to be the line troops, your basic mm -hmm. specialists. Um, yeah. Yeah, the really cool. Re I like very very. I, nice. I think it's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing that actually come out. Um, and that's that is kind of one of the things I'd be like, oh, I'm starting a new faction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> These guys actually get cool new like alien people. Yeah. Uh, oh god, I just yeah, I, I just bought a whole new army. It's all good. It's fine. I do hope they have head swaps. Um it's yeah. at least to some degree, so you can get uh the the like the, bad the alien head. head. Yeah, yeah, totally. That'll totally. Be cool. Definitely. Anything else you want to say about that, my man? Um when? When are they coming? Oh November. I need, I need, I need them. I need no. them. And uh, even if I'm playing against them, I don't think they can come any sooner. <laughs> yes, it's very, very nice. So up next, we're on to... This is something, finally something, again, something new. Not normal Pano, but the... Uh, is it the Zulu Cobra? Yeah, um, the Zulu Cobra. I think potentially this could be where your specialists are as well as a special recon yeah. and intervention group. Um, yeah. So these dudes look cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, like straight up just look like cool cool um concepts um and the poncho like you're right there's ponchos i i like who who in their right mind can ever be unhappy in a poncho that's that's all i can think here i'm just thinking yeah i, I prefer it a lot in the first the first concept art without the poncho i think maybe there's an option for camo here but not yeah. all the time. It kind of also makes me wonder if it will be um, one of those weird things. He looks so fast without the poncho, mm -hmm. if, if you look at the way he's designed. Um, so I think he might have more movement just as a pure guess. But I wonder if they're going to do odd fire teams. Yeah. Uh, so like this guy um, and maybe a couple of other guys in like a fast moving Harris or maybe a fast moving core. Yeah. Yeah. Um because yeah. he's got the spitty and the combi. Yeah. Um yeah. and the assault pistols. Didn't even notice the assault pistols until you just mentioned them. Yeah. This guy's just gone up in up in my books. It, it looks like possibly although we can't really gain gleam from this loadout here, um possibly just uh one assault pistol because they usually put a, the image of the pistol in a in a holster and then one out. Okay. I'm not sure. Hmm. Who knows? I don't I, know if the. Uh, I don't think profiles for these guys are up anywhere, are they? No, not yet. Um, visor or no visor? What? What do I prefer? Oh, just wondering. Oh, well, if what he, do I think? Yeah. Mm. He's got the classic pano head. 
Yeah, but he does have a face mask on, and I would definitely think this is maybe maybe an MSV one troop. Potentially, yeah. Because yeah. the reason also I think he might be quite fast is just because of Varuna Immediate Intervention Division. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's something about being really and yeah. Oh no, I was just looking at his gloves then. I was thought has he got some sort of cool close combat thing but no i think possibly if you look at the second one they'll go in the poncho and that's almost certainly a hacking gauntlet of some variety right yes yes so certainly. I, I think they'll definitely get a hacking profile um which will be cool um especially if there's something like a, um a fast moving assault hacker that, yeah. that would be very cool to see on them it makes me again think about forward deployment if he's got camo hacker uh mm-hmm. shocks mark and oh you might not get you probably end up with a combo rifle wouldn't you if you're going to be the hacker as well yeah um yeah I just... that said looking at looking at them um looking at the weapon range there might be an msv2 helmet it might it might be an msv2 visor yeah like but... they, they don't seem like uh super heavy weapons but a fast moving potential hacker on an msv2 maybe limited camo with the poncho don't know yeah that'd be interesting an interesting thing to have on the table i can imagine him considering pano's well known for having decent armor i can imagine him having sort of armor one or none at all Mm -hmm. yeah totally there's so much skin showing there's a poncho so he's got so much else i don't think he's going to get that um I'm not a fan of the ponchos, though, man. Oh, dude. Like, okay, I, this is where we will disagree on this. Anything with a really nice, like, beefy collar that, like, sits... I I mean, I bought actual clothes for collars like that. <laughs> so it's a cool collar, and it's a poncho. I'm in. Like, <laughs> Fair enough. Fair not, enough. Not, quite, not quite aliens in Pano in, but it's, go, it's getting that way. He his poncho. I wonder whether if on the actual print or, or the um, the sculpt itself will the hexagons be there like we've seen on the inside of capes of um, what's that sniper's name from Outrage? Uh, Nalf. Nalf, Nalf. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I would hope so because I would hate to try and paint perfect hexagons. True. But there's a lot. There's a lot of people who are out there who are infinitely better at painting than me, and they may relish the, the challenge. Yeah, um, I suppose it's got that option for a nice bit of freehand, but also, I suppose, mm-hmm. considering the quality of Infinity Miniatures, exactly. and just those big blank spaces wouldn't really suit. No, it, it, that that is the thing, right? Those big blank spaces, are like basically covering up what is otherwise pretty cool armor. Yeah, I I would be surprised if they're just blank. I would Definitely. be surprised. Yeah. Definitely. Right. So next we've got this is your AD man. This what this is what makes me think that the other one wasn't AD. Echo okay. Bravo Ready Reaction Unit. Can you get any more words in? <laughs> I have a really long title. Is I'm going to be the best guy on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Man. yeah. So he, I, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he does look pretty good. He looks pretty cool. Um this is now what makes me think the previous guy's uh, helmet isn't an MSV2 helmet. Like this looks like an MSV2 helmet. Yeah, that that full like, kind of mask. Yeah, with um, the with the with the six dots like that. That's like that's pretty hallmarky of their multi spectral visor. I mean, simultaneously, I want to see like an AD MSV3 trooper just drop down and like annihilate people. I don't want to play against it. <laughs> I'd like to see it as a thing. But I think I don't. I would be surprised if that's going to be the case. Yeah. What's um, your kind of thoughts about? So we seem to be moving in a way where the majority of the AD troops um, backpacks sort of a similar in nature of these kind of these wings that kind of come out. This this sort of I don't quite know how to explain it. So you've got kind of Yujing's classic ones which spray out, um, but then you've got on say Toha and now this model here, it's got mm-hmm. these like sticky out sort of T junctions. Yep. Um, it's like it's not a propulsion. It's like a a special parachute, perhaps. Yeah. So um, I when I first what was the mod, what was the old model that was in Ice Storm that had these very similar things? I can't remember. Also an AD dude. Um, 
I'm going to have to pass on that. That's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll skip over it. But regardless, I I like them, and I've always seen them as more like air brakes. Yeah. So they're more like um, positional um, what's positional pieces of equipment, so you can glide in and just rely on something else to stop you from absolutely annihilating yourself on the ground. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, much more than parachutes, as it were. Um, I, I I think they're cool. I didn't like affixing the old Pano one on whatever that model was. Mm. That was a nightmare. I also lost that in about three days. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about his stomach backpack. So one of the things I distinctly are getting more and more annoyed with on Ariadna is the <clears throat> it's too many baggage too many backpacks like he could have some really nice armor plates and i know we see that on a lot of miniatures but i'm not sure about the placement of that um or the purpose of it to be honest what do you think what, what have you got against the bum bag it's, it's, well, it's where he's keeping his sandwiches for for halfway through the battle he when loves, like he loves that he's fanny come pack. in yeah that, exactly a fanny pack like he's come in he's like <laughs> dealt with his like half of the table that he needed that was his to deal with and now it's sandwiches time. <laughs> what would you want? What would you want? I would actually hope that it's maybe there for a reason. Um, in this case, maybe something like a auto med kit. An auto med kit would be yeah, cool. Yeah, could be cool. Um, I think it might be pretty powerful if it's an auto med kit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just looking at his gauntlet as well. Is that another hacking gauntlet? Perhaps it's not I... both. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a hacking gauntlet um, because you get you do get AD hackers every, every elsewhere. I say it, almost say it, mm. everywhere, but it's not everywhere because I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Eugene. You, you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, JSA. You you don't get them. I'm, I'm sorry. I also just noticed actually you don't have to choose between a light shotgun and a combi rifle on this miniature. Mm-hmm. So right. that is pretty nice for jumping behind people. Right. Yeah. Um, being, I like able that. To, being able to literally just decide what is best for the situation. I'm used to my rifle light shotguns on things like that. And it's, it's pretty versatile. Having the also extra burst and plus three at the short range just in case you really need to spread that fire, is pretty tasty as a thing. Mm. I think it's going to be pretty expensive, though, I imagine. I would guess so, too. 38 plus points, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. If not if not worse, if that is an auto med kit and yeah. MSB2. It could just yeah. be crazy points. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so this is, so this is an interesting one. So... Um, this is the full picture of the starter box set, which is what we're going to get. And one of the things that was really highlighted was one, two, three. There are four SWC weapons. Yes. In this alone. Yes. Um, again, you've got you've got the multiple Kamals that look like they're going to be your basis for maybe perhaps fire teams or just your basic line troopers. But a Spitfire, a multi sniper rifle, actually, and a heavy rocket launcher. So. That's just nutty. It is, right? You kind of the, for, for once they're kind of setting you up with a defensive fire team link to start. Mm -hmm. Hacker Paradiso Cropman to jump up in the middle. Yep. Yep. And your and your fear back just to stand there and be like, I'm yeah. not fear back. I oh you've got something that needs taking out. Well, I'm just gonna walk forwards and take something out. It's I think this is likely to be one of the best starter boxes if you were to go out and buy a faction starter box and put it against something else. Like when, if you were to go out and start the game with a friend mm. and you weren't for some reason doing a two player box, like, I don't know, for instance, you saw Varuna and thought they looked like the coolest models in the game. Fair play to you. They do look pretty cool. But I think you would end up just absolutely annihilating your friends if you just play starter box against starter box. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose what I find interesting is it, just trying to crunch some numbers in my head. It mm -hmm. looks as though it's not your typical 150 point starter box set. Yeah. Um, yeah. So perhaps they're starting to move more 
between a mid range of the 300 point box sets we used to get and this this looks like it's going to sit in more like 180 200 yeah. um with the chance to learn a lot of special weapons straight away but i guess as we've been going through all of that all of varuna together it kind of makes me wonder about um how do you feel about them essentially giving because you don't need people to come across to pano it's still the most played faction we have so how do you feel about giving a faction where you're getting access to more special weapons considerably for a decent cost you're getting camouflage now um, which is something they never had and i don't know i was wondering about how every faction will have the availability to be able to have everything you know i i on a pano only basis of thought i see a lot of military orders and not a huge amount of anything else so seeing these things being added into vanilla and these things coming out as a as a sectoral of their own i'm really happy with i want to see more variants out there i saw i know a couple of people who are either playing at the moment nca or about to start playing nca and that also helps my opinion of like seeing this spread of new things but i as a, a as a game as a whole I think the variation in the little tweaks is what makes it interesting because yes, everybody has access to kind of everything, but the way in which everything then plays tends to be quite different when you get down to the crunchiness of it. Um, and I'm, I'm all for having like these new things added. Um, hopefully it doesn't eventually become everything has everything and they all play the same way though yeah um, that does worry me a tiny bit but i don't think corvus belly are going to end up going down that route to that extent okay okay uh, fingers crossed I, yeah. I trust them i trust them <laughs> trusting corvus yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so this is coming out in november so it's not actually a long time away which is going to be nice um and so they're definitely on track to getting all these sectorials out um yeah nice nice kit yeah yeah no really nice kit really nice so next one up we're going back to kind of somewhere we've already been if you've been paying attention to the releases recently is is uh the tac force for ariadna um yes. i've wanted russian to come out for a long long time because that was the first thing i ever got into but they didn't i just like the line kazakhs um how do you feel about this this lady then As a design, I think she is baller. Like she is an awesome design. The mini is awesome as well. Like from the render, it's a tactical rock mini. Yeah. You know, we're never. I don't think we're ever going to get away from tactical rocks. But as um, as the new wave of uh, minis have come out for the last year, year and a bit, if not longer. I think this is a really, really cool sculpt. Yeah, I mean, if comparing the 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 artwork to the actual miniature itself, big, mm -hmm. big difference, and it's actually, I think, a good difference. Um, mm -hmm. That half mask is sick, and if you look, it's uh, got the details engraved on the mask of the yeah. teeth, which is really, yeah. really nice. Um, I also prefer the chest armor to what it was on the on the ren. Uh, the artwork the yeah totally i i mean i don't dislike the chest armor on the on the actual artwork design um it's it works really nicely with the current military kind of concept team for the army of not really progressing technology wise but i think the the actual sculpt itself looks pretty damn cool yeah definitely definitely um in terms of the i guess it is still an antipode is, is what yeah. they're, they're referring to. It's a big antipode. Yeah. Um, it's more kind of like a dog warrior, personally. Yeah. Somewhere um, between the two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you think of that? Because it's wielding a weapon. That's the first time we've seen an antipode wielding a weapon. Okay, so here's the thing, right? And I'm sure this may fly in the face of many people's opinion. I think this is where the trench hammer will be good. Don't get me wrong. I love Ratniks. They're a really cool model. I think 
this guy is where you're going to end up finding somebody using a trench hammer to absolutely stove in your tag. Okay. Um, it, just from from the stats of what they all are and from this guy's stats, I, I rate this guy. I think he's going to be on the table every time that somebody really wants to give something some punch when they put tack on the table. Okay. Okay. I, just, I honestly, I know a couple of Russian players who want multiple of these. <laughs> like, I, I think, I think they, I think they're going to be on the tables everywhere. And I think they're going to be the bane of everybody else, but simultaneously hot damn do they look cool and genuinely i will be happy to see them on the table just yeah. doing that thing um I, the interesting thing for me is the um is the red cross paramedic bag that's on the design artwork for him let's have a look yeah that's interesting the fact that he's also mm -hmm. got a walkie-talkie that you can use yep. yep um i suppose i was upon your your sort of talking about the players that you you play with they want to have multiple of these mm -hmm. i'm looking and i guess perhaps this is why that it comes as a set with this person so it's almost an individual character like um the rock um yes. so you can only have one of them because it's going to be that good yeah. um i'm going to be really interested to see how this puts together because it's a big miniature mm -hmm. it's standing on its hind legs um yeah hopefully hopefully when um when it comes to putting it together, it's not going to be hellish. Like some of some of the big minis can be when they're when they're standing like that, because um, they are just big, heavy pieces of metal. I'm wondering if, like the two part bike, the JSA new two part bike, yeah, maybe a bit hollow on the inside. Potentially, yeah, potentially. Um... Yeah. I, it, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe that's just me vaguely hoping. But at the same time, you lose a bit of the weight and the like nice feel of a mini. So. Yeah, I'm hoping that they've managed to. If you've ever put some of the old dog warriors together, I'm hoping. Although he has got an open jaw, that perhaps the head is a one piece. But I imagine that's going to be a separate jaw as well, um, which could be a bit gimpy to put together. Is, is is the other reason why I think it might be like um, uh, what was the. What was the JSA heavy guy? Do Yaokai. Do Yaokai. That guy, where they kind of like do, slot yes. together. Like, possibly, you could possibly have cut this. I don't know. I'm not an expert in this in any way. I'm not even a. I'm barely a layman in this. So, but I'm wondering if there's a way that that open jaw is part of one half and the rest of the head is part of the other half or like the body is part of the other half and then the head goes on. So it like clips together. So the jaws already part of the main torso and the head yeah. just sits on. Yeah. That would be a good way of cutting that in. I think we've seen a considerable amount of those miniatures recently where the, mm. the head and the torso is, uh, and the arms are two different. So the arms might come back on the back of it. Um, yeah. You know, they've been doing some really good things since they've been experimenting with the Aristea miniatures. So. Um, oh, totally. Totally. I think CB's, um, uh, like actual cutting and miniature process at the moment is fantastic. They're like, and hopefully they do really cool things with these so they can get some really interesting poses now happening. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. They've been on a good roll recently. Yeah. But no, I look forward to seeing the Strelok's on the table because even the Strelok infantry is incredible. Just, I, they're just going to be good. They're just yeah. going to be great. Speaking of which, the next. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so, I don't really know much about these guys apart from the render makes me happy in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, just, oh, let me see if I go back to it. The crouching down pose with, mm -hmm. with that assault rifle, yep. uh, or snipe T2, I think it is, is just something else. Like, Good range. Oh, although, I'm just, uh, let me click back. Sturlocks coming in a Frontonovix assault separated. Is that two separate ones? Yeah. So the front of it, the, 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 in this one, they've they're ordered in the other way. So the front of Frontonovic is uh, ah yes. Concept images after that, and yeah. as you notice, a heavy rocket launcher on that dude. Like if they pull off something cool with that pose with the heavy rocket launcher, I'm, it's, it's oh, going to be 
yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Very, no, very I nice. like the Strelox, the, the, the good to go back to the, the other concept of the Strelok dude face masks. If they manage to like sculpt in that, like skull face mask onto that dude, it's going to be cool as well. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, certainly. Well. It's also but this, Sorry, Karen. Uh, he also looks like he's pretty set up in terms of he's definitely up close because he's got a train colt SMG. Mm-hmm. I think you can get some really nice profiles on that, which you're going to just demolish that kind of two thirds of oh. the enemy's table. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and mines as well. Gonna be, they're going to be great. Yeah. Put in a tasty claymore there. Everybody's happy. Yeah, definitely. It's very, very nice. Um, so yeah, onto the front of Novik. Oh yeah. I don't know how you say that. I'm sorry. I probably butchered that. That I probably said something entirely different. I'm sorry. <laughs> see, yeah, yeah, they managed to put on his mask. You can see that he's got yeah. um, that, and it just looks so sharp and so crisp. It's just, you know, I don't think it'll be that much longer, and they'll start having camo actually pre-done on them. Mm-hmm. Like that's the kind of quality it looks like we're working with at the minute. It's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, no, totally. I, I like that. I I don't think it's necessarily that long off. And when it happens, it's it's going to be unbelievably nice to like just be like, oh, I can just apply paints in a manner that's just these flat surface areas that are various levels. Oh my god, I've got camo. Definitely. Oh my god, I can actually paint models that I want to put on the table. Was like I've painted this. It's, it's going to be brilliant. Yeah. Speaking of somebody who doesn't paint his models, that's where I come from with it. Definitely. I think interesting as well, this is one of the few um, ones in Gen Con release that we've got with an actual profile. Um, yes. There looks like there's some really nice options there, including the Harris. But also what's really sticking out to me right now is you've got a Ariadne unit with mimetism with an MSV-1. And I right. think that often gets overlooked, the MSV-1. Right. Um, with a sniper, I think that's that's awesome. That's awesome. I I completely agree. Um, putting a smattering of MSV one in in there is just going to be it's going to make it's going to make tack harder than just playing the Russians in vanilla, which are already top tier for Ariadne in my definitely. opinion. Definitely, um, and that that like. That potential of the negative three for mimetism and ignoring the negative three on camo or on mimetism on something else, or even just bringing it down for TO, is is going to be. It's go- I think it's going to trip some people up yeah. because they won't be expecting it to begin with. Definitely, definitely. And I'm just looking now, um, considering the um, profiles we usually get for our specialists. Look how stacked that engineer is. He's got a massive toolkit of being a specialist, a T2, light rocket launcher, D charges, and then he's already got his own like armor and yeah. way of sort of protecting himself with mimicism. He's going to be badass. Um, yeah. I'd definitely pay the extra six points for that without a shadow yeah. of a doubt. Yeah, no, totally. He's, he's sure he's still only whip 13. You can get some higher whip dudes elsewhere, but uh, yeah, he's going to be good. Yeah. He's going to be on the table and he's going to be good. Yeah, the fact that you can have two of them is nice as well. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, like, um, he is on the expensive end of models to put in without a marker state, I think. But I did a T2 rifle and a light rocket launcher. And no SWC. I'm sorry, like, uh, you you want what now? Yeah, yeah, I I just have two of the best medium to like just damage based weapons in the game i'll, I'll just have two of those oh and, and i'll just should i just take this assault pistol with me as well just in case you know just just in case just in case yeah just, you know no it's brilliant it is absolutely brilliant um also having um being able to put a paramedic with a t2 rifle on there yeah <laughs> yeah nice just, change let's just let's just give just give everyone t2 rifles it's brilliant. So I have a question. Okay. If you go back the way, mm-hmm. first uh, render for that front Novik assault dude, the the actual render of the dude crouching, the one yeah. 
do you, is, do you think that's mislabeled? Because if you look the after the front of the Vic, there's the dude in the helmet with the face mask and everything. And then like, if you go back up, the dude with the hood is actually the other Strelok. He's the, yeah, he's the Strelok. I'm quite sure. Yeah. I think I think he's the Strelok, right? And I mean, dude, it's, yeah, yeah. they're just going to be everywhere. Strelok's are going to be everywhere. It's going to be amazing. I they're, mean, they're great. The front of Vic doesn't look as good. He looks sort of. I don't know. I'm not keen on that helmet too much and the plat mask, but I think we're spoiled too much. Um, yeah. He looks like he's very gitted out. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, totally. I actually, I, I really like the concept work for those guys. Mm. Like, they look like frontline engineers. Like, th- that is exactly what I picture in my head when I think frontline military engineer. Like, yeah. he's got ammo clips on his, on like, on his on his chest he's got um bags everywhere that contain all of his d charges is everything he could possibly need and he looks like he should be on the front line with that helmet and the face mask and just being i, I think it's brilliant uh the the actual mini the render uh, sometimes the renders for me with these guys have too many things like just strapped to them and they just look like they're just like yeah piled on and I, I don't mind it i just i think he could maybe maybe afford to leave one of those pouches at home yeah 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 definitely he's got a lot going on i think that'd be a pain in the ass to paint yeah. um yeah. so let's talk about our new leader mm-hmm. so i think this is interesting that they've gone this way with the lieutenant is like tank hunters hold a special place in my heart because yeah. They were such phenomenal models when they first came out. It was something that, you know, that massive long auto cannon was just next level and that really attracted people to Ariadna. So yeah. this guy looks as Russian as you can get <laughs> in the artwork. Um, he looks awesome and just the, the render of him is phenomenal as well. He's he's It's a good pose. Um, really, really good pose. I I'm not a huge fan of tactical boxes. No. Um, Mixes it up from the rocks, though. It is slightly better than a rock. Yeah, slightly better than a rock. And for me, having a dude with a sniper rifle just pointing at the air while pointing at something else, I I don't dislike it. But at the same time, like with the crouching dude, like I I want a dude looking down a rifle shooting a dude, not just like standing there being like, "You over there, do a thing." At the same time cool model very very nice i yeah it's I, very nice so so when you look at the profile and you're thinking tactically i think it's unbelievably interesting and different to have a lieutenant that is also a specialist yeah but i also don't know how i feel about um having a sniper rifle on a lieutenant because i'd be scared about popping my head above the parapet right and, and dying so i think i'd be much more likely to take a chain of command yeah of this for, dude for your 35 or 30 is that nine points yeah 39 point 35 point lieutenant with a sniper rifle he's bs13 he's armor three he's got dogged in ambush so ambush camouflage am i right in thinking that goes away once you've used it i think so I think so. It might leave you with mimetism, but I think it's more along the lines of um, limited camouflage. Um, I should probably check that up because that's the thing I should learn. Yeah. Um, that's quite nice in the sense that um, you, Acrylite cannoning someone on a surprise shot mm-hmm. could be really pain in the ass for tags. Um, he's 4 2, though. We've just seen he's 4 2. Yeah, he's 4 2, right? He's a slow dude in a big load of bulky armor. He's got a sniper. And if he's a forward observer on the table, you know he's a lieutenant. Yeah. Like, yeah. that. that's my, like, biggest kind of question with him is why the chain of command one doesn't also have forward observer. Yeah. I understand it would probably push him to 40 points because forward observer tends to be an extra point on a model. But it it does give away that he's 
a lieutenant. Yeah. Not everybody will know this, obviously, because not everybody will look at the every profile from every army. But I feel like that's that's a scary thing to put on the table. Um, it does give him a whip fourteen flash pulse. Yeah. Just because um, he's a Ford observer, right? Yeah. I, I mean, suppose... <laughs> might be clutch. Who knows? I'm just thinking. I suppose. Um... It's not like he's, it's not like he's off the table. So he's not going to put you in loss of lieutenant for being in full camo mm-hmm. state. But I would be much more inclined to take the lieutenant version if, and I know they wouldn't have it in this army. But if it was a no wound in cap as opposed yeah. to dogged, um, the fact that he's going to get tagged and yeah, cool, he might take someone down with him, but he's still going down. Yeah, um, dude, like, as soon as like, as soon as you have to question that, do I go dogged? Do I go unconscious? Situation, and then you know you're probably dealing with your standard whip 13 doctor yeah. who might even only be a paramedic because that's what you took and you're walking up to this guy it's like uh, i'm just gonna just gonna casually execute my uh my unconscious lieutenant here like for an order it's dangerous yeah. and but and dogged is never gonna save you from going into loss of lieutenant ever because if he takes a wound on on your opponent's turn and he goes dogged, he's dead when you count your orders. If he goes, if he takes a wound and goes dogged on your turn, doesn't matter. You're you're not in loss of lieutenant until the next time you count orders. Yeah. So it's never going to save you that that situation. Um, it's I I almost feel like I would pay the extra point to have Ford Observer on the chain of command and the extra points to have somehow or or even taken off the dogged and not paid those points because it's not a rule that i want to put in place on it's not even a rule i really want to put in place on my chain of command no. that's a scary thing right and that was probably not a pretty face can you yeah <laughs> um yeah yeah i mean I like the concept of him, but will we actually? I like the model of him. Will we actually see that much of him? Yeah, but not for long. I don't think when people start playing him. No, no. Uh, also, for those of you who have been screaming, probably if if you haven't edited that out, ambush camouflage uh, has all the benefits of level two camouflage. So when it is, when it goes when you come out of ambush camouflage, you still have mimetism. Okay. So yeah, it just okay. gives you that extra token that can be deployed where you are able to deploy in your deployment phase as a dummy. Right. So. Okay. Okay. So I don't I don't think that's bad. I think I think the ability to throw down an extra camo marker is good. It's always good. It's it's always good to make people waste orders on a thing. True, 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 true. So, moving on to the ALF. Um, they've had some nice releases in this, again, with attack. Uh, you know, um, yeah. one of the things that they have announced that even before the end of the year, we will see a Beyond Cold Front box set. Yeah. Um, now, these um, Cyber Dancers, if these don't have hollow projectors, I will eat my fucking hat. Um, <laughs> like they are some funky neck projector things, and mm-hmm. you see them on uh, a few of the miniatures that have come out in these renders um, and artwork. Unless it's going to be a ridiculous flash pulse, which I can't see it being. Um, yeah. I think you're going to see a lot more of these hollow projectory sort of type miniatures. Do you, you think this is going to be a hollow projector? Yeah, cyber dancer. Yeah. I think it just kind of fits. Um, yeah, I can't think yeah. of what else it could be. Okay, okay. Um, so here's my take on this. It's got a poncho. It's got a high collar. I'm already in. You know, I'm already in. I like. I'm. I'm already there. It's an SMG. I think an SMG is one of those weapons that a lot of people don't rate highly enough. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got to have something else interesting. Cyber yeah. dancer makes me feel like maybe another kind of 
post-human style thing. And if you look at some of those post-humans, they have those like big collars, kind of collar things. Um, this and this backpack, I I did like the collar comes down to this backpack thing. I don't think that it's going to be a hollow projector. I might be wrong. I'm probably going to be wrong. I'd put money on it. I'm wrong. Okay. But I, I think it's going to be something along the lines of proxies. Okay. Something like that. Um, because the world didn't have enough hate. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I think they're going to be cool. I, I, I'm very close. I know at the, bit, at the top of this, I said that I am Hacker Slam for life, and I, I love that army. I'm very close in the sense that I've already bought some, shh, don't tell anyone, to playing some Alef. With, okay. these new, with these new releases, they are so pretty. They are so well sculpted. And they are just so interesting that I am, I'm going to play some Alef for a while. Okay. And this, this Cyber Dancer, even when it's just, you have an SMG, go do a thing. Yeah. What is this blank space below number three knife? <laughs> they never leave space <laughs> right smg pistol knife okay okay what what else do you have because frankly i'm just deeply curious now yeah it's got to be something pretty funky i i admit upon thinking about it it seems a bit odd that you'd have a hollow projector with just solely an smg cyber dancer also sounds a little bit hackerishy yeah um whether or not they have their own programs but I agree. They kind of look like got a hollow men sort of feel to them. Yeah. Um, upon their yeah. look. Um, now, the one thing with these is, is take this with a pinch of salt because this is words coming from somebody that I was driving back from the tournament with, that they, that the thoughts that he had or he had read somewhere was that they can control remotes or something. Okay. I might okay. be completely wrong. I might. I might. I was driving. I apologize. I was driving. I was half listening and half keeping us from death. Um, but I believe they might have something where they can control remotes and give remotes a bonus okay. while they're controlling them. Okay. So one of the things that is coming out is is a set of remotes for uh, operations. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really, really interesting point. Um, something slightly different because makes me then think about kind of how you have the antipode assault pack and i was just then thinking about i don't think they'll do another proxies thing because we have proxies but what mm -hmm. about one main person and four sort of almost puppets sort of going with yeah. it um i think that's much more likely yeah though i i mean i mean it's interesting it's something other than i have a hacker i give it marksmanship level two because it's a remote and now i go and kill stuff with it yeah if it, if it has more interesting interactions than that by a different mean circuit, something like a puppet master. I, uh, I'm in. Uh, it'll be interesting. I will probably play these and and forget my hack roots. So, so I was ready to do a massive hate on the poncho. Yeah. And if you click on the render, yeah, the poncho's back. And oh, hot damn, have you seen that mask? Yeah. That is exquisite. Yeah, right. really, really nice. Can't actually. What's also interesting is the body is quite feminine in terms of the curves, in terms of the hips, the thighs. No breasts though. So I wonder whether it's the first, if that's the case, it'd be the first miniature that we have without breasts on a female miniature. So I wonder whether, like you say, uh, this is an empty. For Aleph, you mean? No, or I'm thinking I mean, in general. The Strelok, the Strelok, also very similar kind of. It just has like a chest armor, um, very cool kind of like not overly not not overly sexualized kind of True. model. Um, I I'm all for it. It True. it means that like they they're still like designing minis to look really good, but not doing this kind of like cheesecakiness yeah. that sometimes they had. Um, he says, and then like scrolls for two seconds to the Azura, and then scrolls back up. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, so, 
if we move on to the Rudras, which is the the new bots for yeah. um, operations. Now, interestingly, if it does go with this, I don't know how if it, it. I kind of really like them, and I kind of really don't because it looks like the bots from the Ghost in the Shell anime because they're yeah. on wheels. Yeah. Um, which I do really like, and I'm also little thinking feety wheels, little, little feety wheels, little feety I, I wheels. Love it. Um, but then I suppose I was wondering if we've ever had a bot which has a multi rifle on it. Hmm. I can't think of one. I mean, I know we have Spitfires, heavy shotguns, um, plasma, plasma, definitely combis, combi light shotguns. I don't think we have a multi rifle out there. Mm. I think you're right. That's, that's that's interesting in itself. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can already tell that's going to be an absolute bitch to get that top to stick on. Uh, I so for me, uh, this 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 uh, render very much makes me think of the um, what's it called the Magruba Guard, where yeah. it has that big tail that comes round and over. Yeah. And that's done really well. Uh, it isn't a nightmare. Well, I didn't find it a nightmare to put on and keep on until you drop it yeah. one too many times. And then then is a bit of a nightmare. But I I, I hope that it's part of a, like a two-part body with it almost already having that section in it. Hmm. And then the bits go on the side. I'm hoping that's how they're going to cut this again. Um, but I think it's a cool design. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, I wonder if we'll see more options of them because it presently it just says multi-rifle. And on the render, there's only one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I Maybe. Hmm. Um, I mean, it depends what this thing also does. Um, little, little uh, what's it called? Feety wheels makes me feel like it's going to be climbing. Climbing plus of some That's, degree. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That's a really, really good point. Because um, especially on the render, they're very prominent, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, please forgive me. I am not necessarily totally au fait with uh, with Alef quite yet. The other bots have climbing plus, or at least some of them do, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so the um, multiple of them have climbing plus. Okay. Like the the Daleth has climbing plus, and I believe the TR bot also has climbing plus. Okay. Um, so, a climbing plus S four, I assume, multi rifle on a bot that can be, who knows, maybe even controlled by the cyber dancer. Potentially, yeah. Just spitballing out here, like, or or even just even just giving that um, marksmanship level two is in that kind of standard manner of, um, of like buffing your remotes. Yeah. A multi rifles have put down my tags before in ways that make me want to forget entire days. I was just thinking then, if we think about the feeties as well, I wonder mm -hmm. if that's going to make it more difficult to get them to stick to bases. Speaking as somebody who has to put the hack remotes on bases, yeah, it's going to be a nightmare. Mm. Um, those hack remotes have like, I don't know, two millimeters worth of contact area on each foot. If they, if it, if it's literally even only two of those little feety wheel things that touch on each leg, it's going to be, it's going to be one of those situations where you're going to want to find a solution that is more than just, I put super glue on this. Yeah. And then every time I put it on the table, I cry a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So the next one coming up is the, um, the U Yada, 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 Yadu, 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 Yadu officer? officer Shakti. Yeah. And again, it's got so this maybe maybe um, detracts from my uh, hollow projector theory. Someone else with these headlamps. Yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting, right? Um, I I have no idea what this is going to be. Obviously, she has a Mark Twelve. She has some kind of energy knife in the concept art. Um, yeah. I'm wondering if it's some kind of um, 
what's it called visor for her on this model because obviously sure. as a as a synthetic human she probably doesn't need something to actually cover her eyes to be a visor True. although thinking about it you don't you could technically just wear an msv2 helmet on the top of your head if you had it plugged into you most of the people probably have that ability in the infinity universe but we won't think about that anymore these guys like if that's maybe i don't know an msv2 sensor array of some variety with a mark 12 that's gonna be cool um or who knows what it could be it i don't know a million think, other things yeah i think it's going to be something completely different to what we've seen before yeah. um yeah yeah and just thinking about this it's in um it's, it's kind of cool they have an officer unit because that seems to be like a big part of um you know it's very common within myrbidons to have that yeah. so again are they going to go down that route of mixing and matching kind of how you can have those little fire teams yes. spe special fire teams which seem to be the flavor of of this season yeah definitely the flavor of the season and obviously steel phalanx had their own take on on fire teams i i don't know if there's any information out there right now as to how the fire teams are going to work in operations if you know any better than i do no not heard anything as of yet okay i uh, i would like to see some more mixed ones and also some more just really interesting ones where you've got things like this, where it's an officer version of a, another model. So they just buff what would otherwise be a pretty cool link. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Um, the render itself is very nice. Again, there's, there's a couple of miniatures, um, especially within operations where um, you've kind of got these synthetic faces with the lines on them. And I really, really, really enjoy them. Um, mm -hmm. More tactical boxes, though, Joe. Uh, you, like, sometimes some people just can't leave home without their tactical box of ammunition. What are these people going to do? Spend all day shooting people or something? Like, it's it's fine. Um, I, for me, more again, the issue is the gun in the air. These, yeah. These, these people are like there to like shoot other people. Don't don't put your gun in the air. Aim at somebody. No, I actually I like this render. I like this render. It looks it looks really aggressive in the way that the model is just like, yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you. I've got my knife out in case I need it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my thing. I like it. It's cool. Even tactical heels and tactical box and <laughs> I can get over these things. I think there's something if you'd had an aiming pose, um, yep. I think you would have quite well. It's, it's similar with a lot of them. You detract from sort of the the centerpiece of the model in the in the chest. Um, you know, it's got this quite cool, cool again, a sort of poncho cloak thing, which seems to be the um, the main thing that CB are putting out on quite a few models mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, I, don't I, know. I like it. So here's the thing for me though. Um, unless this model is, unless the rules for this model are just out there, insane good, I actually prefer the other Yadu, the the, the non-character Yadu from uh, Coldfront. Hmm. I, I think that that model has an unbelievable amount of dynamism to its to its stance, to, to just the helmet on that model looks so cool. I will play both when I eventually get them both, but I'll probably love them both and do horrible things with them both. But who knows? It's more the thing for me is that the base Yadus have um, fire team duo, and I'm wondering if these guys will be able to duo with them in a really interesting way. Okay. Yeah. That could be cool. That could be very cool. Um, yeah. I'm thinking also with that pose is whether the the fact they're not going down the gun is to emphasize the, that head thing. Yeah. Although it looks yeah. like in the concept art, there's going to be head swaps where you can't don't have to have it. Yes, um, possibly. Or it clips possibly. onto the back, perhaps. Possibly, um, indeed. Hmm. Uh, also, it speaks very much like um, uh, who was the other character? Uh, the Vasily stance. 
very much like it's going to possibly be uh, a lieutenant option. Yeah, almost certainly. The base Yadu has a lieutenant option. I don't see why the Yadu officer character yeah. wouldn't have one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then it has that same very kind of like I'm ordering you around situation. I, yeah, I like this. I like it, even for all of the things that I dislike about the way some models are posed. I like this one. Okay. Now, talk to me about this Asuras hacker because this is by far probably one of my favorite releases out of this Gen Con lot. Oh, really? Yeah. There is just something phenomenal about the render. The face mask, uh, the one-piece suit is very ghost in the shell. Um, That crazy, crazy hair. Yep. Everything. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's just turned up to 11, isn't it? Like, that's the thing, right? It's just so good. It's just turned up to 11. So good. I... I don't dislike it by any means. It's just, I don't know, for some reason, it just, it just doesn't speak to me in that same kind of way. Like I, I look at it and I'm like, yeah, I get where you're coming from. I understand what you're doing. Just maybe turn it back down to 10. Okay. Okay. You know, it's just a bit extreme for me. Like I, I, I won't lie, I'm going to put it on the table and it's an Azura, so I'm going to like put an Azura on the table and just be ridiculously happy that I get to play with really nice toys these days. But I don't know. I don't know. Just... I love it. I absolutely love it. I think there's something very nice in that it's just not just another model who has said that it's a hacker, it, she's dressed differently. You've got some really, really interesting gear on her arm that she's trying to hack through. Yeah. Um, it's very different to sort of the human um hacker devices i love it everything about it i i would this is the kind of i would start the faction for kind of model okay okay that i completely understand that i I can get why that is the case entirely just does she need a tactical piece of machinery she does she does okay that's the final word on it i'm i'm happy that uh you are definitely the expert here yeah. and uh, <laughs> i will bow to your knowledge <laughs> she just got to that place wherever that machinery was to plug in she's done yeah okay <laughs> yeah what, what you don't know is right now she's actually just charging that's yeah. that's just her charging post that's, that's what she looks like when she goes home at night and she's just like yeah i need to charge for a while exactly I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna leave my gun here drops it to the floor i'm just gonna over there somebody get me something yeah that's cool and i'm just gonna charge through my foot through my contactless uh charging point in my foot Exactly, exactly. (laughs) Right. So next up, something for your people, um, which I also think we need to mourn the death of the chicken bots because eventually they will no longer be produced. Yeah. What do you think about these remotes? I'm going to give you the moment of silence that those chicken bots deserve. That's it. Okay, we're done. Because quite frankly, those chicken bots, I have broken so many of their ankles i love them though <laughs> so many ankles gone and it's not fixable once they're gone there's no there's no redeeming that of there's no redeeming the fact that they are really piece really heavy pieces of metal on what is effectively like metal wire mm. i i love them don't get me wrong they are cool designs but this i like more this yeah. I like more, okay. and especially and especially since it brings them in line with the other remotes. Um, yeah, that's a good point. I suppose the one thing I'm slightly concerned is that remotes across the board are looking reasonably similar-ish. Mm-hmm. So that's particularly why I did like the chicken bots because they were very distinct and different. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll give you that. I, I will, I will not disagree that they, they did, and they will continue to. You can have mine. You can <laughs> play them as much as you like. I've got uh, some. I've got some in a box. Yeah, you can good. you can have more. You can have more. You can even repair the ankles on them. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on and smile and not worry about putting them in my case literally every time. Yeah. No, I I they do look very similar. You're right. I will say that they do look very similar to basically every other four legged, yeah, heavy fronted um, remote out there, and. You know what? I, yes, there are different human factions, but quite frankly, 
there's probably only so many people manufacturing remotes in the infinity universe and the top companies are probably going to do it in a manner that sells them to everybody yeah i get your point i get your point i think i just kind of it was nice to see that Aleph had some different legs yeah. on them for, for yeah. a change but we're very you know uh, combined army have these legs um hack i'm trying to think what else does um yeah just it's just the four cross legs yeah. just you know pano has them um yeah just nice to see something different every now and again but oh, no, would, i i don't think i don't think it's impossible for there to have been a better design for these guys and i don't think it would be impossible for a faction to completely do something totally different that would blow us away um but given the choice i'm taking yeah. these guys definitely definitely okay moving on we're getting there so um the hollow man box i think this was kind of inevitable because yep. the concept of the hollow man was probably one of the coolest things we've heard about this year um yep. i'm distinctly sad that the rocket launcher one is hidden behind <laughs> but he looks yep. cool as hell yep. um i don't really know what to say about these guys they look phenomenal as per usual yeah if you want hollow men, you would definitely get them. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, I quite like the guy with the fist. He's he's a nice change. Stopping yeah, I, I cool agree. Dynamic pose. Uh, I agree. It's a, it's a cool dynamic pose that looks like it's actually a dude fighting a situation. Like he he's there holding ground. He knows what he has to do. He's probably telling one of his buddies not to super jump over a thing again because he just got shot and is really badly hurt. But, you know... God, these models are cool. Yeah, they are very, very nice. Something that you would base your entire army around, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. You would get them just for that. Um, very, very nice. And anything with Super Jump right now. Yeah, like, exactly. I, I, I'm sorry to everybody who I have tarried recently. It had to happen. Um, but everyone else is getting Super Jump on really cool things too. So I don't feel too bad. <laughs> Right. The next one we've got is a Rassiat um, deployment division. And these are these are the new sculpts. I think we've already had one with this similar, essentially mini avatar, yeah. um, kind of massive chest piece, which is kind of similar because on the tack unit on the um, the Ratnik has got a a big large triangle chest. This seems to be again a theme sort of emerging between different factions. Yeah. Yeah. No. Totally. Um, uh, I. I like that after the what's the tag they have after the God it's one of the coolest models in the game and it's gone from my head after the combined army tags yes the Sphinx. Morat tag Sphinx Avatar and then what was the other one uh, Raicho the Raicho after the, the the new Raicho with that pointy chest and the new mm -hmm. head I wasn't immediately sold seeing it as armor on these smaller guys you really like it i like it i like it i don't like this model i don't like this render at all for other reasons but i like the armor yeah it's yeah i like his armor I, and his face mask i but... like i like the armor i like the face mask i really like this new jump pack that they've got this way better than the old one they had yeah with starfish thing um i think it's very cool uh I think this is just like, why is he falling over? <laughs> or, or, or worse, why is he landing and probably breaking his ankle? I, 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 yeah, okay. I, I get, I get what you mean. I think there's something the pose I quite like to some degree. Mm -hmm. If he was on top of it and jumping off, I'd prefer it. Yeah. Um, yeah I totally. really like his head mask. I really like his chest piece, but. There's a lot going on for this miniature, considering he's not got as many items as anyone else. Right, exactly. He's real busy. He's real he busy. Doesn't, he doesn't look horribly busy in the same way as um, your engineer from earlier, who probably could have left three pouches at home, let's be honest. Um, but he is, he's, he's got a lot of bits, right? He's yeah. got a lot of different armor plates. He's got a lot of different stuff. Because like, even if you look at the boots 
the knee pads and then the chest piece they don't look consistent which i like no. don't get me wrong i don't i don't think it looks bad as like different pieces but it looks it like you say it looks really busy really busy although i do like the chaoticness of him as you say yeah. it not matching he looks like he's charging it like a morat does oh god yeah um yeah yeah i don't think i'd get him though no no he i think if he, if i were to ever do morats he's one of the models i would definitely get but he's also one of the models that i would immediately have to clip off a tactical rock from and work something else out because Fair enough. Maybe, maybe it will look better in the real when I actually have one in my hands or whatever and it'll look like he's like dashing from some point to a rock to dash off it again with like weird propulsion jets that are jetting him across in a very anime kind of slide manner yeah but dude looks like he just stubbed his toe on the way in <laughs> like, I feel bad for him yeah doesn't look good right so now finally on to some jsa we've had a lot of jsa released this year and i've already seen on the forums and um on facebook groups that people are incredibly glad they didn't get the arrogato second senken butai um because the poses on these like yeah. we've been talking a lot about poses tonight and this guy shooting back behind him is fucking awesome Right, right. He screams. He just screams Akira at yeah. me in a like street gang bike racing kind of manner, and and there's no cat ears. There's no cat ears. Um, the bikes themselves are obviously the same basic bike. One of them has boxes and other stuff on it. As um, I don't know her name. I don't know cat ear girl's actual character name. So I can't remember, but it like to me, if the the bike will be the same, probably like two part bike that will be amazingly easy to put together compared to some of the other bikes in Infinity's range. And dude, these guys on the bikes, that dude shooting backwards is cool. Yeah, very very nice. Uh, very nice. Sitting there on the bike, like it, it's just cool. Like they they're two really really awesome renders. Yeah, and a big side to see them, and I think a lot of people will start running them, especially if you can maybe have more and more bikes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I think it'd be really. I think good. obviously the only thing that really holds these guys back is the points on them. If, if you're talking about putting yeah. them on the table, um, but then I I run bikes. Um, I run seven bikes at the weekend because <laughs> I wanted to. Um, and it was beautiful, and uh, many people thought my list was terrible. I don't blame them. It probably was terrible, but I think bikes in this game are one of the coolest things you can get. Yeah, definitely. Very, very nice. I like his leathers as well. His leathers look very good. Very, very yeah, good. Yeah, they look cool. Um, so next on the list, we have the Cube Jaeger. So it's come to that time where we get the general release of the limited edition miniature and i again prefer this one to the original i think his sword is pretty cool his pose is very nice um, yeah yeah now took me a whole year to, to uh, win one. one and literally as i leave the tournament these renders go up <laughs> and i just have a moment of wondering why I bothered when this one looks so much cooler. <laughs> it's oh. fine. It's fine. No, um, this is a very, very cool mini. I yeah. don't know if I will ever really put a Cube Jaeger on a table when I'm doing anything other than just playing around. I think they're good, but they're maybe I'm just spoiled in hack. Maybe that's it. Um, but this mini dude yeah it's beautiful it the face mask very very nice because it's got that funny like old style gas tank sort of falling yeah. down from it um yeah. the goggles are sick um yeah very very and, nice and 
this guy could be suffering from too many pouches, which is a phrase I am now going to use <laughs> whenever Pou- I describe <laughs> minis with too many pouches. Pouch syndrome. Yeah, yeah, um, too many pouches. TMP. He's just TMP. Just but, before you say there's too many, though, look at the embroidery on it. Exactly. That's exactly what I was like going for. This, this guy could be suffering from TMP, but he's not. Like, he looks cool. He looks like he's taken everything he needs and he's going to use everything he has. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, this, nice. this guy's a cool model. Yeah. I really, really like him. Really, really like him. Um, but like you say, again, sort of shame on the profile as if we'll ever actually put one on the table is a different thing. Right. I mean, there might be. There might be. And it would be a total situation of just like surprise. I've got a cube Jaeger. I'm going to monofill something. I don't care what it is. I'm not going to get to your tag because that's what he was there for. But this line infantry, well, he's going to get dead. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So another kind of interesting and exciting bit as we sort of get to the very last kind of chunk of this sort of reviewing mm-hmm. us is the Invincible Army. So yes. essentially, um, they're showing us now a, a set of renders stating that Invincible Army is pretty much coming up next. And I think that's something we'll probably see very early next year, probably not before Christmas. Um, I don't think the Celestial Guard look particularly good. They needed redoing. But in my opinion, they look quite flat. They look a little bit boring. I'm not thrilled with them. I don't disagree. Basically, um, I'm not going to be a very interesting soundboard here for you. And uh, the, they look fine. They look like dudes in heavy armor. Yeah, they needed really, redoing, but really boring heavy armor and. I'm sure painted. I'm so. Here's the thing with these guys. I think painted in a really nice airbrush manner. Some of these flat kind of like parts could look really beautiful. Yeah, definitely. as renders. I'm just. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Um. Then we have the Lu Zheng. Um. Uh, Again, I'm not extremely excited by this concept art. It looks like a very classic Tiger Soldier, but very heavy armor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got D charges, so perhaps it's got an engineering option, but <sighs> nothing, again, nothing special. Nothing really no. excites me. What about you? I. Uh, spoilers, I'm not a huge anime fan. However, this guy screams anime. In a way that makes me want to watch whatever series he's in. Okay. Like, just like he gives me this like concept of like um, uh, an anime set in zero G with zero G like jet fighting around just dudes in heavy armor, um, like with little like boots that cramp onto things. And I, I think he looks cool. I, I think he looks cool. I love the I love the jump pack on him on this heavy armor dude. Um, if the if the eventual model has that like open helmet thing, I pity everybody who's going to try and paint a face in there. Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. But uh, he, no, I'm, I think this. I I think it's cool. Okay. Um, I I could see it ending up being a dude on a tactical rock stubbing his toe again, but we'll come to that later. Yeah, yeah. Um. And then I suppose there's two more new miniatures that we are getting for the Invincible Armies. We're kind of wrapping up. And um, the first one is the Hai Diao Special Support Group. And I suppose within the JSA and the Vanilla, you have specific doctor engineer Mm -hmm. models. And I suppose to me, this very much looks like one of these guys. But still, it just doesn't excite me. Really? Really? Do any of these excite you? Or is that spoilers? The the next one does. Okay, okay. So this guy, to me, um, does exactly what Hackims did to me for Hack. Okay. I don't like the head. I don't get the like weird semi bulk, semi semi like not bulk of these guys. In out, in out, yeah. Yeah, 
out if he could be okay. He could be interesting. The concept art doesn't get me going. I'm in the same boat as you in that regard. I the is that a hacking gauntlet on him? Could be interesting. I was thinking that, but I think quite a few of them have that symbol. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it? Uh, I don't know. You know what would be an I interesting switch? If you didn't have a doctor engineer, you had a engineer hacker. Yeah. That would be uh, that would be cool. I would definitely... I'd like to see that on the table, especially in an army that's going to be like 80-something percent, um, if not 100 percent. I'm not entirely sure on the details. Just really heavy infantry heavy. Yeah. Like seeing seeing a specialist who can do a thing but also is a hacker. It's very cool. It gives him a way of defending himself against like incoming hacking, especially if he can like fairy dust his whole army as he comes on and just surprises yeah. you from somewhere else and all of a sudden like your theoretical defense against these guys is just like almost almost nullified by just a, a complete defense across the board. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I also um, like breaker pistols. <laughs> Who does? If he has a breaker, if he has a breaker pistol, he's, he's cool. A multi-sniper, cool. Like, yeah. This guy, this guy screams like, put me on the table. I will do work for you. Okay, so last but not least, this is one that slightly excites me if he didn't have a poncho on. Um, You're wrong. He's got a poncho. What what I really, 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 really like about this Enchar is mm-hmm. that he has hollow men feet mm-hmm. and he has the helmet of the NA2 special release um, mercenary miniature. Okay. I love that helmet. I think it looks awesome. If you can get that kind of shininess to it, yeah. I think that would look look phenomenal. But drop the poncho. Um, he's definitely I... going to be a forward, uh, forward infiltrating dude. I think with the SMG in the mines. Yeah, and the DEP. Uh, yeah. I think that's I think that's where it's going to sit. I definitely think it's good where it's going to sit. Um, I think that's maybe. I'd want to see something like really interesting, like um, limited TO or something on this guy. Yeah. Like I don't know I don't know why that poncho makes me feel like that's maybe a thing that could be coming sometime. Um like dude who can start in hidden deployment infiltrated and just suddenly like he pops out, save points on the save points on the having the mods afterwards. He's just a dude in heavy armor, because dudes in heavy armor are still ridiculously good if he's in cover. Yeah. But um have him there is like a almost a counterpiece of like you've pushed forwards and now my dude can like just pop out and be a heavy infantry a heavy armored dude in 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 there i didn't notice the boots before you said that mm. those legs look pretty chunky too yeah i think so, it's are, heavy. We, are we thinking some super jumpy or are we thinking just like a dude i'm dude? thinking armor three armor four okay okay yeah. it looks good he looks good yeah, if he didn't I, have a poncho. It's fair. Hopefully, the poncho is removable when his uh, TO comes off or yeah. something. Yeah, you know that That'd kind of thing. Good. No, I uh, mine layer mines midfield TO. If he's TO normal TO heavy infantry mines mine layer boarding shotgun SMG, it's going to be real good. Yeah, D man. D charges like he if he is infiltrating, he's going to be. Uh, a way of doing at least one of your cards, unless obviously the cards yeah. change. But I would be surprised if the cards change. Um, I think it's cool. I, I I think that helmet is is going to be beautiful with a non metal metal paint job. Yeah, yeah, it'd be very very nice. Mm-hmm. Very very nice. Okay, so it took a little bit longer than I thought because there's a considerable amount of stuff coming out or was shown at Gen Con. Um, so if anyone is still with us at the end of this video, props to you. Um, but Joe, I just want to say thank you very much for coming on and having some banter with me and going through all of this new goodness. It looks like we've got a good few months coming up. No, totally. Thank you for having me. Um, it's been fun. Uh, I hope I, I helped 
add something to what would otherwise have been your very, very insightful observations. Um, the only thing I can say or leave leave with is what's the black N about? Guys? Yeah. What's, what's the black N about? Um, I think if I'm not wrong in thinking, someone did rumor that there was going to be new rules coming out. They, as far as I'm aware, has stated that it's definitely not a new edition. No. But I, I have also heard that at the end of this year, not next year, the end of this year, there will be an update to Army that will do a lot of rules tweaks. Okay. So uh, maybe that, maybe they'll hold off till November. But I think that I think that's going to be something totally different, totally interesting, totally totally cool. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we yeah. know Archon Falls is never coming, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, um, cool. I'll catch up with you soon. Yeah, dude. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Bye. Bye.